Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planner video. I'm here with my mega happy planner, one of my mega happy planners, Mrs. Cassiopeia. And I'm going to be setting up um, one of my planner sections in this planner. Um, which is a happy planner classic vertical style section it's the section where i keep track of all of my social justice and community service initiatives so here we are so if you're interested in checking out what i do with this planner section uh, i'm going to be using colorful leopard a sticker book from the happy planner i love this one so if you're interested in seeing what i do just keep on watching All right, so if you are new to my planner videos, um, I have a Franken planner, meaning that I combine various different planners into one planner to make my custom special planner. And that's made possible thanks to the disc bound system of the Happy Planner. I freaking love the Happy Planner because the fact that I can rearrange every single piece of my planner just gives me life i need that i'm such a uh what's that word when you you're not happy with like one thing all the time mm, i don't know i feel like it's a uh, mm, uh, is there a word for that i don't know but i'm the type of person that likes to switch things up i'm very dynamic i like to explore and experiment and when i have a system that allows me that absolute freedom to experiment but also gives me the level of structure that i need i it i'm just in love i'm in love so the happy planner allows you to um mix various planners together and so that's what i have going on here so i have i think seven different planner sections seven different planners that i've combined together and each planner is like deals with one particular topic or theme or area in my life that i need some kind of organization or or that i want to kind of work on and i have just one month per planner in this planner because otherwise i can't you know i can't have all 12 months at a time for you know seven planners my planner would be like that thick but I have just one month at a time so I have the month of October for every single section here in my planner and I separate them from each other by um, scrapbook dividers so I make these scrapbook dividers and I paper clip them to the October monthly overview because otherwise um, because I separate you know I separate planners I'll, I'll have this like random like week page which is the back of the October monthly and because I don't want to have this page just randomly out in the open I like to kind of have things a little bit more you know um, a little bit more structured and nicely formatted I just have the scrapbook paper and then I have my paper clips and then I have my October overview here. So the monthly overview for me acts as like a big picture perspective for everything that I have going on in the month. And I've listed here like four projects, the four major projects that I'm working on this month. And so this is my, I call it my social justice section, but I go back and forth between calling it like my community service work, my outreach work, um, this is all stuff that I do on top of being, you know, a scientific researcher and it's it's mainly work that I, I do in order to uh, make science um, accessible and provide a science, a scientific education towards people who or for people who don't normally receive um, scientific training or a scientific education. So that's why I call it social justice, because I believe in um, providing that for for people that don't normally get it, either because of social um, or class inequities um, is, you know, is is helping that social justice. Um, it's it is doing um, social justice work. So that's why I call it social justice. And anything that I do that is kind of community service oriented or social justice oriented, outreach oriented that isn't tied to my work goes into this section. And because I do quite a bit of it outside of my work, that's why it has its own section. 
So let me just actually share with you the projects that I'm working on um, in case you're interested. So one of the major projects that I was working on this month and actually it just finished up was I was I put together a workshop for a virtual conference called Inclusive Science Communication. It was a fascinating, amazing event. Over 600 people attended the conference and I just put together a, a workshop, one of many, um, that went into cre like making up the conference. And my workshop was about using mixed media to reach diverse, sci uh, diverse audiences as a science communicator because a lot of the times science isn't really um, communicated effectively I don't know, um, let me know in the comments down below if you're someone who's not involved in science spaces, isn't a scientist, let me know your thoughts about science in general. I, Being a scientist myself and being in science for so many years, it's so hard for me to step outside of my science shoes and kind of understand how other people like come and perceive science, how they approach science. So. I try to um, be an effective science communicator and so I tend to be in these science communication spaces quite a bit and that's why I put together a workshop to share with other science communicators about how I personally communicate science and why I think using like a mixed media approach is uh, an effective approach especially if you're trying to reach non-traditional audiences. Um, and so yeah, so I put together that workshop, it was so much work and I just, I gave it yesterday, October the 14th, and I'm so glad that that's done with because now I can move on and do other things. And the second project that I'm working on is a NSF grant proposal. So that's the National Science Foundation. They have grants available for people interested in doing uh, science communication work. And so right now I'm working with a small team of scientists to put together um, a grant proposal to bring um, STEAM programming, so that's science and arts programming, to the incarcerated population of San Diego County. And we really want to um, put together some educational programming that uses zines. So zines are like small magazines. They're like alternative forms of um, of, of knowledge and communication. Uh, let me know also if you have any in experience, interest in zines. I would love to know because I feel like it's such an alternative subculture and not a lot of people work with zines. So I'm always interested to hear from people who work with zines or who enjoy zines or who know about zines. So yeah, we're trying to put together this uh, grant proposal. It's such a huge undertaking, but we're applying for you know a good amount of money um, to get funded to to provide this programming for incarcerated people and then my third major project that i'm working on is um this foodology uh, museum exhibit virtual museum exhibit um i mean that's just what we call it so as part of uh, one of the organizations that i'm part of the biota project we like to put together mixed media um content for people and we like share that media through um instagram twitter facebook all that and so we tend to do a lot of like traditional media surrounding um different scientific themes and this month's theme and last month's theme it lasted two months was all about food science food nutrition and we always tend to try to um, provide more than just the basic science 101 um, knowledge about food we try to give it a little bit more of a political a socio-political um, a historical um, um, context it's not just like science knowledge so we did a whole um, exhibit on food science and so that was a lot of fun i learned a lot and it's actually that exhibit is coming to a close so this month is going to be the last month that we're working on it it actually should have ended at the end of september but i've just kind of been so busy with other things that i haven't been able to like formally close it down and um, decide what we're gonna do next. So that is a project that I'm working on. And then lastly, um, we're working with a creative filmmaker um, called Notes with Neva. She's awesome. I'm gonna link her YouTube channel down below as well. But we're working together to put together a little video on coconut oil and coconut oil science. And it's been cool to work with Neba. She's uh, like a film artist and she and she's really interested in communicating science. She has a science background and um 
yeah so we've been working together to put that together and make that reality so that's another major project that we're working on so those are the projects that i'm working on and uh, i do use this section down here the holidays birthdays and dates to remember but i don't really use it too much because i tend to just write it down on the actual calendar itself so this is the monthly calendar i spilled coffee <laughs> on my planner the other day and so i have all these coffee stains on the edges and yeah i just you know write down everything that is happening um the month here on the calendar and for some reason i tend to uh, I, I, I don't know why, but I decided at some point that the only sticker book that I was going to use in this planner section was the colorful leopard. I have no idea why I decided that. I just was like, oh, I'm just going to use the colorful leopard for this section and that's all I want to use. I don't know, I just decided that randomly and I think it's just because I love this sticker book and I just wanted to like go all out um, with this sticker book and so yeah i just i just use the sticker book in this section i don't use anything else and um it's a lot of fun so as you'll see that all of these stickers are from this particular sticker book and i'm just adding like a bunch of stickers here on the calendar page because it feels like it needs something so okay well let's move on and let's do some after the pen shots shall we so this is the first week in october um and <laughs> i have a lot of drawings in this particular section because i am a mixed media artist as part of the biota project and like i mentioned we put together science communication content for people and so we do all of our own artwork and since i am a traditional media artist um, as well as a non-traditional media artist i tend to do a lot of uh, like physical media and i because um, i'm a planner i like kind of incorporating it into my planner and so i have a lot of uh, like sketches and stuff that um, that you'll see um, throughout the section actually i think i i showed you one here too i did this one last week of september put the paper clips back on here so this piece here was about organic food and labeling organic food and so it, the the little like will the real organic chicken please stand up it's it was a kind of a tongue-in-cheek uh, way of saying that it's a little bit sometimes um, companies are a little bit disingenuous about labeling something organic and the way that current agricultural standards um, uh, like determine what is organic and what is not can be a little bit open or prone to be abused and so I made a little like piece here about about that and so yeah as you can see all of this all of the stickers are from the colorful leopard this was the current week here and I had so much going on and uh, because I do tend to draw directly into my planner and then share those images I like to tape in a uh, sketchbook paper from you know just like a re regular sketchbook and then use washi tape to kind of frame the the border there and I haven't gotten around to doing anything this week because I was so busy I'll probably do that tonight and then this is the next week, the upcoming week, and we're gonna plan it together. So I have here my colorful leopard book, and we can get into it. I have a little washi tape here that I might or might not pull for, we'll see. So let's, let's start getting into it. Thankfully this upcoming week here, I don't have, um, I don't have that much going on because I had so much going on last week that that I that uh, that that, um, that I don't have that much going on this week. So everything just kind of piled up for me uh, last week. So I'm gonna lay down some washi tape here, the washi tape strips. use all of these black strips actually this here. I tend to leave 
this section right here um, pretty open because that's where I tend to like do my little uh, washi tape and sketchbook paper frame. So um, I'm gonna leave this space open. And I kind of it kind of annoys me that I always put it here because I do like to switch things up. But the fact is that because um, I tend to do more work like Monday through Friday, I'd rather take up the Saturday and Sunday section. So I'd rather put this thing, like the little frame here on this side of the page um, more than I would put it up here, even though I do wanna like switch it up. So I'm just gonna have to live with that. So this is the sketchbook paper that I use to uh, do my little drawings. So I'm just gonna grab a piece here, pull it out. Ah! Let me just pull out the whole thing and I can rip this little stuff. So it's just a regular sketchbook paper. Um, got it at Michael's. And what I do is I just, oh, I just, ah! Well, I tend to rip it a little bit nicer, but um, I tend to cut it like in half. So I'll tend to cut like like this much and it sometimes I, I'll like make it a little bit bigger I'll like take up this entire section and sometimes I will um, not take up that much room and I'll make it a little bit smaller so like about that I'm feeling a smaller a smaller frame this week so um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my double-sided adhesive and pop that down just like that and yeah just pop this down right here and I'm gonna take this little washi tape here and make a little border around it um, and that, that helps me kind of separate it from everything else on the page and also just you know it's nice to have a little frame around your artwork Right, there we go um, let's see let's add this quote stay present in all things let me put this here Beautiful. maybe I'll pull for some of these heart stickers focus I'll add one of those and then maybe today on a Wednesday I'll add this one maybe I can use these guys these are arrows um, so maybe I'll just like oops Excellent. And then I'll go back into this book. Mm. I'm gonna grab this priority sticker and put this here. Priority on Tuesday. And I love these little like drink stickers. So I'm gonna grab one and put that here. Maybe I'll grab another quote. This one, you're doing great. Aw, it's such a nice reminder. You're doing great. Maybe purpose, no, how about this one? No better time than now. I can put this here. Another heart sticker. print sticker put that there and then maybe one of these note to self stickers put that on Thursday and I think that's it I think I'm gonna go with that um, I'm happy with it 
I, again, like, I tend to, like, try to be as functional as possible, and I try to leave as much room to, like, write out the things that I need to do. And so I'm happy with how it came out. It's a little bit, like, um, blank, I would say, but that's kind of how all my spreads are. I tend to not really, uh, really fill them up because I, I tend to... Um, continue to like decorate them and I write a lot and so they're not really like complete until uh, the end of the week so this is just setting the stage for you know continuing to work on this um, for the rest of the week but thanks so much for stopping by let me know your thoughts on you know the spread and anything else I said in the comments down below I would love to know your thoughts and yeah I'll stay safe and I'll catch you later bye